going on? Y'all need to check out Wayne TV, man, doing some awesome stuff right here. Um, welcome, uh, Richard Mann. Yeah, that's me. Uh, Mr. Nuts Productions, Team VP. Right now, we are located in Atlanta, Georgia, at the Hotter Than July event being hosted by the one and only Richard Mann. Mr. Mann, yes, how you doing? I'm doing great, brother. How are you? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm really blessed. I'm here, and I'm with you guys, and it's, it's, it's heaven here. I just got to remember when, I'm, when you talk, I got to put it in. Isn't that too close? I, is it too close? <laughs> yeah. Keep it close to your mouth. Okay, I'm going um, <laughs> to just hold it like this. <laughs> yeah, like that, so you're showing the logo. Rich. Yes. Look, man, how long have we known each other? About eight years. About eight years? Seven, eight years. And how long have you been in the industry? 17 years. Wow. Yeah. And you're going on two decades. Oh, yeah, going on two decades. I never thought it would be <laughs> one year, but yeah. Let me, let me ask you this. From the day you started to right now, till today, what's been the biggest change in the adult industry? From the change to it going to a DIY type thing, a do-it-yourself thing. When I first started, you know, you could do your own thing. You have to go around the world to do it because it wasn't the platforms that there are now to make it easy to put up a website. If you wanted a website up, you had to really put it up, which is very costly and everything. So, But now it's a DIY thing, and, every, any and everybody can do it for themselves. But people are still caught in wanting to go and shoot mainstream and I'm going to be a big porn star, et cetera, et cetera. But, yeah, do, yeah, do it yourself. Okay, to do it yourself. Now, you said out of 17 years, how long have you been doing it yourself? Maybe about 14. It's a long Maybe time. 14, but, see, those first, the first three years I was under contract, okay. you, know, with, you know, with a couple companies, excuse me, one company. Right, but the only reason I started doing the mainstream stuff was to get my face seen, to get to get out there for my own website, my own my own thing. So that's been a goal from from the beginning was to be doing it myself. I don't okay, now everyone knows you as a talent. Yeah. But what else do you do in the industry? I produce. I hold events like these and. Bring in new talent and and, and I'm a cameraman as well, but mainly bringing bringing in new people. Uh, a Rebel Rider, Kitty Jaguar, Helena Price, uh, Maxine X. Bringing them so they can get more exposure, they get seen more, which which helps me more, which helps my bottom line more. So yeah, and everybody wants to eat too. I mean, if you want to do this game, I mean, I want everybody to eat. So you know. Now, Richard, tell everybody something that they might not know about you. What's a well-kept secret about Richard Mann? Richard Mann is a square. <laughs> let, me, let me reiterate that point. Richard Mann is really a square. Rich calls me, man, and we just talk about nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. Nothing, actually. We don't have too much up there, so we can't leave. But about nothing. We don't. No, just. You are born. You are square. Yeah, I am. And, you know, I'm into a lot of crazy things that a lot of people don't really know about. Let me tell you something. That when me and Rich, the first night we met, we, we did some shoots. And that night, we stayed up all night till 6 in the morning. We were talking about history, kings. Pro black. Religion, philosophy. Re I mean, till six in the morning, and I l realized we looked at the clock and was like, "Dude, we we gotta go to bed. We gotta get up early. We got about two more hours." But we stayed up till six in the morning, just talking about anything and everything. But those are just the type of things that I'm into. Yeah. You know, I I spent almost as long, <clears throat> excuse me, as I was in the print industry with a book in my hand every single waking hour for. About 15 years. Like, literally. Okay. Uh, have you ever been to jail? Been arrested. Been, 
been in county. No, no, not, that wasn't the question. Have you ever been in jail? You have been booked. You have been, you know, you you got to do uh, over a week. No. No. I did like maybe four days. Four days. Have this, has the police ever beat you up? Yeah, I've had the police. Wow, beat really? The police beat you up? Yeah, I've had the police plant dope on me. Oh, Every, yeah. I've had that happen. That's amazing. Yeah. How old were you? Were you a young man or were you know? Well, I, was, I was married and everything. Holy cow, Rich. Yeah, we was, me and my boy, we was at the house. Boom, my boy was at the house eating. So he, about maybe 2 a.m., we decided to go to the store. So we go to the store. We seen Two Dollar Earl and I can't remember the other mother. Who the hell is Two Dollar Earl? Two Dollar Earl was. Wait, wait. He, did you say Two Dollar Earl? Two Dollar Earl because you can never really catch him with more than two dollars in his pocket. What? This just a nigga on the streets, or is this somebody I'm supposed to know? No, this is this is my mama I grew up with. Why not? <laughs> so we seen him and somebody else. Two Dollar Earl. Two Dollar Earl. <laughs> two dollar Earl. <laughs> so we all pound the car two to go. Earl. Two Dollar Earl. You can you can never catch him with five dollars in his pocket. How much money you got? Oh, I got a couple, two, few. Wow. How many? Two dollars. Two dollar Earl. Okay. okay. So we was on. We we stopped. We seen him on the way. They were walking to, who knows where. Seen him. We stopped. The next thing you know, we getting fucking pulled over. Mm-hmm. And everybody else in the car got felonies, multiple felonies. And, Real, real criminals at time, et cetera, et cetera. But for some reason, he he, he chose to plant the dope on my side of the car. Wow. My, my, my seat. So wow. he busted it out and whatnot. I just started going off. Mm. Fuck you, da da da. Whoa, whoa. Nice things came out. These motherfuckers was Rodney King in me for a second. I'm still talking. I'm still going. So they hauled all, all four of us in. These four get out in about 24 hours. Me, it was more like three days. A lot of hardcore criminals got off in a day. Yeah. And you, and I, you, because I was just steadily talking shit. Yeah. I mean, the whole time I was up for at least 36 hours just talking. Fuck you, go to hell. They thought I had a fake ID because I ain't got nothing on my record. So they thought, hey, well, somebody got a fake ID, I'm still going off. Fuck you, they strip searched me, made me cough. And so, yeah. Ah, uh, what a brutal time in your life. Yeah, it was very brutal. Traumatizing. <laughs> Yeah, wow, Rich, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Rich, you work with a lot of females out here, bro. A lot of talent, a whole lot of talent. Is it any one particular scene or one particular person that sticks out to you when you think about your porn career? What's the first scene or person that comes to your mind, if there's any? God damn. I always say when people ask me that that. I'll never say who was you know, I'm gonna, who's the best slut you ever had. And I, you didn't you didn't listen to the question. I ain't say who was the best slut. I just say is there anyone that come to mind a, a scene, some, you know, like say if you was having sex and a, 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 a fan fell off the ceiling, hit a bitch in the head, or something like that. Anything like that? that anything that come to your mind? Yeah, you know? yeah. As a matter of fact, when I when I first started, that was the mainstream when I was under the contract. Okay. The procedure is the chick comes in, she sits in the makeup chair, she does the pretty girls uh, uh, makeup, as they call it most of the time, she's bonding with the chick, right, right. yada, yada. And then after that, you go do the pickup, which we actually leave the studio and go, go somewhere and, and we do the pickup. So anyway, she's she's making it through through the makeup, we're all talking, having a good time, and well, we go to do the pickup. She does the pickup, but on the way back to the car, it's like her body just, we had to like literally draw her, almost like pick her up and carry her to the car. Ooh. So we were like, okay, well, she was like, I'm good, I'm good. I was like, okay, so we can do the scene. So we're doing the scene, and I'm literally rolling her from position to position. She on her back, I'm going to go do doggy style. I rolled her so on her was, back. Was this a, her back to her. was this drug induced? Yeah, it was wow. drug induced. So. We couldn't even use the footage because, you know, that's some drunk. So she came back the next day with her agent, sober. He stayed on the scene while she had to do it. Amazing. Video. That's amazing. Yeah. That's the yeah. first and the only time that's ever happened, though. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. yeah right. you, you do a lot of traveling, man. You, uh, of course, you're out of the Bay Area. Is that correct? Bay Area. Bay Area. Mm-hmm. So where do you do a lot of work at besides the Bay Area? Where you at? Where can they, they find you at? I hardly do it. 
anything in the Bay Area. Like, but but ninety percent of my time is spent in the Bay Area, editing, yeah. uh, doing what I get, doing all that behind the scenes stuff. That, so when you're shooting, where where are you at? What do you shoot at a lot? Vegas, L.A., Miami, Dallas, New Jersey, wherever I'm needed. Wherever you need it. Okay. Okay. What do you have in store for your fan base, your supporters? You got anything coming down the pipe? What you What you got? What What What, what are we uh, looking forward to? Well, you know, <clears throat> I've just started doing these events. Just like actually a few years ago, I've been going to a, a lot of the events and helping out. You know, definitely with the Team VP and you know rolling with Team VP. But actual events that I've actually had to host and pay for in full. Maybe a couple years. So that with that said, that same content I've been hoarding it, so to speak. You know, just keeping it in my vaults and. Sorry, you, you what what was the word you use? Hoarding. Oh, hoarding. Yeah. Oh. So now. <laughs> now you you said that and, and the bitch walked across and I, I was I was distracted. I, I was gonna say something about whore. Oh. Whore. Well, we got a lot of those here. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. So I've been just building up content so I can branch out and brand other things like another website another mini beds another clips for sale mm -mm. where I'm gonna push all that content bringing out new talent that we've been working with we've been working with a lot of new talent mm -hmm. so um, I'm like okay instead of hiring industry chicks that I know out there basically I'd be making them stars why not make the people that we work with th that we our network those stars so so how many sites how many sites or slash platforms do you have right now at this date okay, everyone that's out there I got I want clips clips for sale mini vids model Centro, Pornhub X videos red I know I got some more out there I, I, I do and I just flood them with content okay, yeah. okay. okay. Mm, I'm everywhere you are. Yeah, you just are. put Richard Man in there, and it'll it'll pop up. Yeah, okay. it probably will. It probably will. Carl Man. <laughs> we we. <laughs> rich, rich. Uh, a lot of people don't know how we met, and it's it's a long story, but it's a good story. It's a good story. Um, I remember that day I was at home editing on my computer. And this was so long ago, it was something called Yahoo I Am. Yeah, Yahoo Messenger. And this message came across my screen, yada, yada, yada. My name is Richard Mann, and I want to get down with y'all. I said, this Richard Mann. I said, man, you, you don't did all these shoots with these companies. Why you want to fuck with us? And Rich said, I don't own my content. I said, man, if this Richard man called me, he got my number. And my phone just started ringing. And we had a two-hour conversation, and we've been partners ever since. He's my brother. Part of, part of the team, part of the network. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we do a lot together. That's what we do. We, we work together. We, jo we enjoy a, a friendship, a, a, a bond, and... Uh, it's, it's ironic because when you get to know a person, you find out that that person road is very, very, very similar to yours. And Rich was going through some things at the time that I had already been through. So I was able to guide him through some things. Keep it from going off on bitches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was kind of like really interesting because even to go even further, yeah. Jonathan Jordan is a, a big part of us, aka Pussy Bandit, and Pussy Bandit almost had a similar role. So you got three guys basically working together that basically had the same path. Well, the, well, the experience of most black most black men is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same, and it's it's hard for us to turn that corner as to where we can have something that's stable that's gonna that we can just ride out and and know that we good and 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 it takes a long time to turn that corner me it took it took my marriage ending and everything else and you know which was the worst time and child support takes half of like 40 percent of my pay uh, this that and the other and 
that turning point for me was porn. I was like, you know what? I can really do my thing here. I could, I could run my thing as a business, yeah. you know, because you know I read all those business books and you know, and you everything 100%. Like, you know, so I knew how. Yeah. I know how to run a business. Yeah. I know how to run a corporation. The, the same thing with me. I, I, you know, I had corporate jobs. Yeah. Plenty. But I was tired of working for other people. It's so it was at the point where I want to do something for myself. And what could what job could I do for myself? And I could do it all by myself. How about porn? Boom. And I taught myself how to edit. That was my first joy, editing yeah. videos. <laughs> and uh, it just evolved from there. You know, but like I was at, like I asked Rich earlier, what else does he do? You just can't be talented. You're not gonna make any money if you're just talent. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna drown in yeah. a big, big, giant sea of other porn stars if you are just talent. The corporate, and the corporations, the companies that hire us to do these films, quote unquote, the mainstream. There's no royalties in this game, so you end up living mouth to hand, mouth to hand, because you're not getting shoots every single day. Right. So you end up making <laughs> with that other person nine to five may may you you end up might making that. People think we just like sex parties, cocaine on the table every weekend and stuff like that. When it's not like that. So unless you unless you're doing it the way we're doing it, you're do it yourself. Then you're you're just unless unless you just like you know like the one in a million chick come along and then boom and she's. You know, big time like that. But generally, it's a mouth to hand. One in, so, one in a million. Yeah, so right. you, in order to have some longevity, no matter who you are, in order for, in this day and age, in order for you to have some longevity, you're going to have to do You have to be talent. You have to be, you have to be gonna, the cameraman. You, you have to produce. You got to edit your own shit. You got to do everything. You gotta, and you got to learn it. You got to do it well. It may take some time, but you. But what you, else you got? Yeah. You gotta, what else you got but besides time? You got to learn it. What else if you have nothing but time? It's like, what else are you going to do? Play video games? Just sit there, smoke weed all day? No, you're not going to do that. You're going to take the time that it wait, takes. Wait, wait, hold on. Time out, time out. You said you're not going to smoke weed all day. Can we get this on film? You're not going to smoke oh, weed all day. I'm going to smoke weed all day oh. because I know what got to be done, and I'm going to do it. What's your favorite strand of marijuana? Do you smoke that upper or that downer? I smoke the upper thing. I smoke the upper. I don't. I think they call it sativa. Is it sativa, Cameron? Yes, sativa. Yes, sativa. Oh, I'm sorry. We're surrounded by nothing but yeah, marijuana people. We got weed heads. We got weed all uh, in the Ebby. Wait, 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 wait. Sativa. Sativa. That's the upper. I call it the thinking man's high. And then indica is the one that's supposed to make you relax. And it's the sativa, some West Coast shit? No, that's just weed, period. There's two. There's two types of. Okay. Weed. Okay. Okay. There's sativa. Huh? There's three types. Okay. You what's what's hybrid. grown out on the West Coast? Do they grow all three of them? Yeah, just like they grow all three of them everywhere else. They grow weed. And these days, these days, weed is a lot of um, chemical type. Not mm. chemical chemicals. They can make a new yeah. strain. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, uh, post what? What's post that? Cause problem. There you go. It's, it's scientific. It's math. So, all of a sudden, all the people who smoke weed are smart and shit. You were coming up with some shit like that. We were, we were, we were smart before. We hey, God damn. No, we heads one smart. Y'all was junkies. We talked about junkies yesterday. We heads was junkies too. We head wasn't junkies. Just all, all the people who smoke weed back in the day were smart. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Everybody in this house is a genius. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> Everyone in this house is a genius. Thank I'm you. the head genius. Thank you, Wayne TV. You're the bottom genius. Thank you, Richard Mann. The man. This is Richard Mann's event. Y'all Y'all got to check out Rich. Check out the content from Hotter Than July. Rich will be having this on his platform very, very soon. Very soon. So DVDs too. DVDs as well. DVDs as well. And and. The, who, who's here as far as female talent? Who you got here for this event? Oh my God, Luna Lovely, Taylor Nicole, Avery Jane, Violet Black, Lucy Sunflower, Sarah Lace. 
Shit, who else been in it? Larry, ooh. Larry Sky. Yeah, Larry Sky. Uh, it's just pussy everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I'll, I'll say that. I think of it. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. This is Mr. Nuts. Wayne TV. That's right. Team VP. Richard Man's World dot com. That's right. Y'all check him out. Thank you and much love. Go, go, go. Let's go to Thizzle Mountain. You wanna come, 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 then come to. Th